So you think Howie Roseman has killed it in free agency, huh? Well, just wait and see what he does in the draft. And I'm not talking about trading back. I'm talking about trading up. Dallas still stinks. Yo, by the way, King Ding Bat here. Hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. You know, Howie Roseman has been killing it in free agency. He has been absolutely killing it in free agency. And I think the best is yet to come. I think the draft is where he's going to blow people's minds. Pause. Now. Before we get into this, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe to the most censored, most throttled Eagles content creator in all of the internet. And if you've been subscribed for a while, I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support you give to me. It truly, truly means a lot. Uh, I appreciate it so much. Now, before we get in this video, we got to put our thinking caps on. We got to put our thinking caps on. Because we can't think without the pink. You know what I'm saying? Pinky. Pink. Pause. I don't know. That sounds like something totally different. Dude, I'm a loser. I crack myself up. That's that's bad when I crack myself up. I say something, I start laughing. And everybody looks at me like, what is, what is he laughing at? I, I just crack myself up. But anyways... In this video, I kind of want to talk about the draft a little bit, right? I know we got a lot going on with free agency and everything going on there, but I just I want to take this time to talk about the draft because I saw this interesting, um, it, it was an article, it was something that was on the NFL Network, right? Uh, I'll put the link in the description. The title was, Eagles make aggressive jump up in 2023 draft in this trade. And and it was talking about how Howie Roseman could possibly trade up. And and it's a funny thing to me when we talk about trading up, especially with the Eagles in the first round, because oftentimes we hear, and I would say that since I've been on YouTube, more than not, I hear that the Eagles are going to trade back. Every year, the Eagles are going to trade back. The Eagles are going to trade back. The Eagles should trade back. The Eagles should trade back. To me, that's probably the most popular um, opinion each and every year, people want to trade back and get multiple picks. And I get it. You want to get as many picks as possible, right? Um, but a lot of people think that. I, I kind of tend to be on the opposite side of this thing uh, in, in most regards, especially within the first round. I often think about quanti not qua not quantity over quality, but I think quality over quantity. I'd rather have a blue chip elite type talent at least one every draft that I know is could be that guy or should be that guy or has the talent to be instead of a bunch of guys that are a bunch later that I'm just taking a shot on. Um, I think both ways can work. It always really comes down to who's picking in the draft. And that's another reason why I don't like to trade down. And I, I don't mind trading back. I don't mind trading down. I just tend to not like it in the first round unless I get an offer that blows my mind, you know, pulse. Um, otherwise, I, I tend to like to, to, to either trade up or stay where I'm at. And I would say that more than not, most people want to trade back all the time. That's what people want to do. They want to trade back, get more picks. And we're seeing that this year, especially at 10. I think most people that I talk to want to trade back. They want to go back and get more picks. Anywhere from 13 to the 20s. Okay, and really each draft is is different. We have to look at it uh, individually in terms of the draft, what the talent is in the draft, things like that. Because you could have one draft where you have a top heavy draft. Let's say the top 12 picks are really good and then there's a fall off after. Well, it may be, it may cost you less to trade up than usual because everybody wants to trade back. So if everybody wants to trade back, oftentimes you don't get as much to trade back. But when people want to get up and then you go back, you get a lot more. So it just it just really depends. And I look at where the Eagles are sitting right now at 10. Uh, and I say to myself, this team 
is in the perfect situation at 10. They just need to sit there and stay put. You're going to have talent fall to you. You're going to have probably four quarterbacks that go within the first 10 picks. Somebody will fall to you, okay? And then what I want to do is I want to take that other first round pick, that 30th pick, I want to take that with my second round next year and maybe something else like a player. And I want to move back up, try to get up to as close to 15 or as close as I can get and take Bajan Robinson, the running back. That's what I would do. That would be my plan, okay? But there's another plan we got to talk about and we got to think about. And and this, uh, this article, it basically, and I'm not going to read the whole thing, um, I'll let you guys read it. I'll put the link in the description. But but in the article, it, it talks about the Eagles uh, possibly trading up in the top 10. And I think this is a scenario that nobody has really talked about a lot. Um, I've thought about it a few times, uh, mentioned it a few times myself, but for the most part, nobody's talking about it. However, this may be a really smart idea. And this actually may be something that Howie Roseman would want to do, okay? And in the article, what they say is that the Eagles get their first, their 10th overall pick and their second first round pick, their 30th. You take both those picks and you trade up and you trade with Seattle. Um, and then you take Will Anderson Jr. or Jalen Carter. Uh, I think Jalen Carter might drop to 10 by himself. However, Will Anderson Jr. on the Philadelphia Eagles would be monumental. If you could trade both first-round picks and get Will Anderson Jr., I would strongly consider that, okay? I would strongly consider it. It's it's not not a bad idea if if you think he is that he is that talented, which I do. Here, here's a little bit of what it said, right? It says, Philadelphia has multiple first-round picks in the 2023 NFL Draft. Their own, number 30, and the number 10 overall pick, courtesy of the Saints. That gives the ammunition to get aggressive and move up the board should the opportunity present itself. With a strong roster, it would not be surprising to see the Eagles look to make a jump up the board for a specific player. With quarterbacks expected to dominate the top of the draft, Philadelphia could find a good trade partner in the Seattle Seahawks. The suggestion of the trade would be the Eagles trading both of their first round picks to the Seahawks in exchange for the number five overall pick. That would put the Eagles in a prime position to select one of the top defenders available in this year's draft, which is Will Anderson or Alabama, uh, Will Anderson of Alabama or Jalen Carter of Georgia. Um, and then it goes on to talk about Seattle's perspective and being able to add two players possibly on defense to the roster instead of one could help them and the fact that the Eagles are so close uh to getting back to the Super Bowl uh getting one star player could go a long way I I would I would strongly strongly consider this with for Will Anderson now I would prefer not to trade my second first round pick I would do I would do this I would do my first this year, my 10 overall, my number two, and then maybe like a third next year or something like that and try to get up to five. I, I would consider that. Uh, we haven't even talked about the possibilities that the Eagles are saying themselves. We got a pretty good roster. We just need to add one more guy, one more star, one more guy to replace Hargrave, one more guy on that defensive line. Will Anderson Jr., would be that guy. And the fact that the Eagles are not a bunch of players away in this draft, okay? We're not multiple players away from winning this whole thing. We came one drive away from winning Super Bowl. We're not multiple players away. We're maybe one good player away. We're maybe one that one good young player that puts us over the top, right? One person that can replace Hargrave on some level. That is where the Eagles are at. This is why Although I don't know that the Eagles would do this trade, I, I, I believe that you trade up in the first round and not trade back. It's just a matter of what draft pick do you want to trade up with. Do you want to trade up with your 10th pick and go get a Will Anderson Jr.? Because to me, that's the only guy I'm trading up for. Or do you want to trade up for a guy like a Bajan Robinson with your second first round pick? Either one, I think the Eagles have to try to trade up in the first round. And I, and I say that because, yes, we don't have a lot of picks 
in, in this draft. That's true. But you're not multiple players and multiple positions away from going back to the Super Bowl. You still have a very good team. And even though you're missing a couple linebackers in Hargrave, you should be able to fix that before the season starts. How we should be able to patch that together. This team needs another star, another elite player on this team. It could be what puts the Eagles over the top. So I'm not interested in trading back for multiple picks. I'm interested in getting put over the top. Pause with either a star defensive player or a star running back. That is what the Eagles should do. So in my opinion, I'm either trading 10 and going up and trying to get Will Anderson Jr. or... I'm trading 30th pick and trying to go up and get Bajan Robinson. I'm doing one of the two. I am not trading back with either of those picks. I'm trading up with one of those picks. That's what I would do if I was the Eagles. I think that's the right move. If the Eagles were two, three years away from going and being a real competitor to go to the Super Bowl, I would understand you want more, more players, more picks. But I think... This team isn't there. This is not a team that needs two, three years to rebuild. This is a team that can win the bowl next year. That's why I am not trading back. I am trading up in this draft. Go get the one star that puts you over the top. Just my opinions. I would love to know your guys' opinions. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Of course, don't be a thing back. Remember, it's how we vision. We're all just living in it. You know, one thing I forgot to mention in this video, and I forgot to mention, I wanted to mention it. The Eagles, the Eagles, the last few years haven't traded back anyways. They have been trading up. They traded up to get Devontae Smith. They traded up to get uh, Jordan Davis. Uh, I, I don't think the Eagles are trading back. I think the Eagles are going to trade up. And I'll tell you what, I think it's the right move. Trade up, Howie. Trade up. With that said, Denzel Washington out.